Hello fellow artists of the blue and welcome to my channel and welcome to a very exciting video because in this video we have new paint lots of paints This is probably one of the most exciting moments in the mutual painting world since the introduction of the original contrast paint range because Citadel will be releasing 27 new contrast paints plus a complete formulation of the old shade range including seven new shade colors and I had the absolute privilege to be able to test them after the Horus Heresy weekend event and I have the full new range here with me thanks to Gage Workshop for sending it for review and I will be showing you each and every single color and talk about what I think of them. So let's get cracking. So as you can see here are all the new paints, these are the shades and these are the new contrast paints but the new shades are now made using a tweaked version of the contrast formula so literally games workshop has done what i've been asking since contrast paints released which is to make ready-made washes using the contrast formulation which is amazing for washes in fact i haven't really used my washes for anything other than basing since i got contrast paints and now all the shades are essentially contrast paints which is amazing so now i don't have to really mix my own shades using contrast paints i can just grab a pot and use it and that also means that on top of these 27 new tools I have for my videos, I can also now use the shades as well because, well, technically speaking, they are contrast paints. And to test all of these new paints, I wanted to use the same model for everyone or as close as it can be, just to get a nice swatch of all the new colors. And for that, I have a Space Marine backpacks. 40 of them to be precise that I've glued onto, well, not very well, onto bases. The idea was to reuse them afterwards. Obviously, I don't want to lose all of these backpacks. The ones amongst you that are keen on maths would have guessed that, well, I don't have enough backpacks to paint one on each color. But what I would do is, for the shade colors that we already know, what I will do is paint half and half of one backpack with them and use the rest for one of each of the new colors but before we get onto the testing itself there is also another new paint that Gage Workshop will be releasing but it doesn't come in one of these nice pots it comes in a spray can which I don't have here and you can see it here Gage Workshop will be releasing with all these new paints a pure white spray and the new school white spray is pure white and it's one of the smoothest white sprays you can get. But the proof will be on the pudding once we get onto the contrast application because contrast shows all of the defects, including all of the mold lines that I couldn't care to remove. So let's get cracking with the testing because I have a fuck ton of testing to do. Why don't we start with the new shades just because well I can. This is Targor Ray Shade and it's a beautiful kind of dark fleshy shade. Very interesting color and as you can see it pulls so beautifully thanks to the contrast formulation and it's a very interesting color to use uh, as a contrast paint as well. One of the lighter contrast paints of course. This one is called Berserker Blood Rage and it's a more pure red shade instead of the more pinkish Carbo Crimson. And it's one that I really, really like and it's a, I think it's a great addition. This is a very interesting one. This is called Soul Blight Grey and it's, well, it's a grey shade. So this could be a great solution over this new White Skull Spray to create a very quick, very nice uh, neutral looking white. This one is Tyrant Blue and it's a super saturated blue shade instead of the darker Darkenhof's Nightshade that we all know and love. This is also another new one, it's called Crow Green and as you can see it's a very interesting green, like slimy, froggy green color. Very suitable name by the way. This is more Tyrant Grime and it's one of that I think is one of the most interesting. This could be amazing to paint zombies, for example, with this yellowy, brownish, very light shade. 
very interesting also to paint something like the white death guard armor so yeah pretty amazing i'm really excited about that and this is the last of the new shades it's called box walker and it's a cold green shade so more options in the green spectrum of the shades and as with all the new shades it just spreads so beautifully it pulls so nicely I won't be showing you on camera the rest of the all-known shades and I will be moving on to the contrast paints. I want to start with one of my favorites of the contrast range. It's called Kroxigor Scales and it's sort of an in-between of Achillean Green and Pterodon Turquoise but different and oh, oh so vibrant. It's one of the highlights of the new range for me. Very, very beautiful color and as I was talking about in the intro I got the pleasure and the privilege to test this after the Horus Heresy event weekend along with some of my hobby heroes and it was such an immense pleasure to be able to sit down with them and just paint for a whole day this one is Aldari Green by the way this is other of my absolute favorites of the range this is Sigelvold Burgundy and just look at the beautiful burgundy color that we can achieve with this. They told us that the uh, objective with this new batch is uh, saturation and intensity and uh, yeah I think they absolutely managed that. We all know that purple has always been well not the best of the contrast range and they have two new purples in this one and this is Luxium purple and it's well it's like this. Along that Luxium purple, we also have this Leviathan purple, which is darker, but still super saturated. The blues that were also a bit lacking are also reinforced here with uh, several new blues, which I think is a very interesting and useful move. This one is Celestium blue, but we also have Ashurman blue, Stormfiend, Frost Heat, Pilar Glacier to complement the blue range of the contrast line. A lot of blues. This one is Asherman Blue, an extremely bright and saturated sky blue kind of color. Very nice, very beautiful. Also a great complement to Talzar Blue. Kind of similar in brightness but a different hue. In this batch of contrast paints we also have more of what I would call more opaque contrast colors like this Storm Fiend. I really like this sort of desaturated gray blue that this has. Just looking at it I can already see an improvement on my rather horrible Space Wolves recipe for the armor. Some of these new colors were specifically designed to go on the new pure white spray rather than any of the other two. You can still use them on the two, but they were designed to look the best or more as intended over the new pure white. And I think this is one of them, which is a very nice looking pale blue color. And as with the previous iteration, we also have super weak colors, which is not a bad thing. You just need to know that some of the colors like this Pilar Glacier are, well, weaker. But this can be an amazing base coat to shade white in a super cold manner, for example, for uh, High Elves or Lumineth. Other of my absolute favorites of the range is this Rattling Grime, which makes for a cross between brown and black, and it leaves such a beautiful color. This is going to be the basis of washes and of weathering. This is amazing. This is other of the new browns. The contrast browns were already pretty good and these two new browns are just an addition to the already fantastic brown options on the contrast range. I think contrast browns are one of the favorite of the current range and this will just increase that for sure. This is called Garhak Sewer and it looks amazing. And we also get on the new contrast line a new black. This is Black Legion and unlike Black Templar this is pure neutral black. Black Templar was a slightly colder black. This is neutral black. The next two colors are other of the new more opaque contrast paints. This one is Gut Ripper Flesh and the other is Briar Queen Chill. 
and these are more pastel-y looking contrast instead of the more saturated colors that we are used to. These all look very pastel-like once applied, especially over white, obviously, but they will look pastel-y over basically everything. And they are more opaque and lighter on the shadows, but still very interesting to have. The next two colors that we will be testing, well, you may recognize their names. One is X-Ray Flame and the other is Night Hunt Gloom. And these colors are finally given the full contrast treatment. These two colors originally were like a test run for the contrast formula that was confirmed by the person that introduced us to this new range. And of course, as all test runs, well, they weren't perfect. The formula wasn't finished, so they weren't exactly what they could be. They didn't have all the potential, but they now do. And both X-Ray Flame and Nighthound Gloom are now using the completed contrast formula and are official contrast paints now. Nighthound Gloom, by the way, can be an amazing color to paint 30K Space Wolves. We also get a new yellow, well, several new yellows, but this is one of what I would consider a more traditional contrast paint. And we will talk about the other ones next. This is Iron Jaws Yellow and it's great. This is going to be one of my go-to yellows for sure. I really love the name of this paint. It's called Dreadful Visage. And it's a nice color, but the name just makes it so much better. I can't imagine painting Slanish Demons with this, which I think is obviously the intention given the name. It's beautiful. And before we move into the final round, which I think deserve a special attention, I want to talk about these two greens. One is Karandra's green, and it's a very intense green, very a bit yellowy looking, very nice indeed. It's a beautiful color. And to me, this next one is probably my favorite of the whole range in terms of how beautiful this color is. This is Mantis Warrior's green, this is essentially orc flesh in a bottle, better than any other combination I've seen. And the last one will be a striking scorpion green, which is, look at that, so intense. It looks like it's glowing almost. It, it does look like it has some kind of a fluorescent paint of how much it glows, especially over this white primer. And if you see my salamander video, this does look like that recipe, uh, but just out of the bottle, which is amazing. So these six colors are the last batch of contrast to test, and I've left them apart because they are a special case. This is Bar Red, Magma Drill Flame, Doomfire Magenta, Bad Moon Yellow, Imperial Fist, and no other color. And you can already tell how beautifully saturated these colors are. Look at that. And they are a special case because once you apply them, you may not get what you expect from a contrast paint. And let me explain. Let me start with a Bad Moon Yellow. This is an evolution of contrast paints to me. And this is basically what you would expect from a high grade artist acrylic ink, but sold from GW. I know most of these, if not all of them are single pigment. They won't provide such a contrasty look in terms of what the range was promoted as when it first came out. So you won't get as much of a separation, if any, between shadows and highlights, but these are so intense, so full of pigment. They are probably the best covering yellow and red you can get, a pure red, pure single pigment red, over white primer that you've ever seen, with the convenience that they are liquid and super easy to apply. I know, for example, that this red is a pure red, and it really, really shows. And this is Magmartal Flame again extremely saturated orange, much more saturated than the old Griffhound orange. But of course, saturation comes at the price of the contrast effect. But don't shy away from using them because they are amazing. This, through an airbrush, can give you some of the most beautiful reds, yellows and oranges you have ever seen. This is probably going to be one of my, if not my favorite orange 
ever made by any company. This is Doom Fire Magenta, another amazing color. Again, this reminds me of any magenta ink you can find in the market. It really has nothing to envy to those. This one is Imperial Fish, which is a variation on Bad Moon Yellow. Essentially, it's doing the same thing, just on a darker hue. Still magnificent paint. So this is it, here are all the new paints in this ridiculous display of opulence. Thank you Games Workshop. I am extremely excited about this new era of contrast paints and shades and I'm really excited to start using them in my videos regularly. What I'm really most excited about is in the previous contrast batch there are some colors that weren't really that useful. They do have their uses, I have used them, especially mixed with others. But here I can see a full array of colors that are very useful on their own and I would maybe do a deep dive on how to use the more intense ink-like colors like the yellows, the reds and the orange. But for now, thank you very much for watching and catch you in the next one. Bye. So my intention was to stop the video right there, but it turns out I did miss something that I wanted to say. Um, I made these lovely color swatches during my testing day with Gage Workshop, and I will be uh, taking pictures of them on high resolution. And I will leave a link down below so you can look at them in high resolution. Apart from that, thank you very much to all my lovely patrons and channel members that allow me to do this. Well, I was going to say every week, but to be honest, I miss quite a bit of those weeks. But I still thank them because they allow me to make these videos for you. And also thank you very much again to Kenshi Workshop for the amazing opportunity that was testing those amazing new colors before almost anyone else. So thank you guys and thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching till the very end. As a reward, here is a blooper.